G'day all, I'm Graham Sanders and I live at Townsville, North Queensland. That's where Latitude 19 crosses the east coast of Australia. I'm doing a management series on both Tetragonula Hocking's Eye and Sapiens. Well, it's the 1st of April 2017 and it's been a very eventful month. Temperatures now are ranging between mid-30s max and mid-20s minimum. Wet seasons well and truly bypassed us here in North Queensland. Dramas this month have included a cyclone that buzzed us, but didn't hit here, hit further south. And pests are running rampant that you have to watch out for your hive. So, let's discuss the cyclone first. If you've got a beehive like this one here, as you can see, this hive here is the hive that used to live in the plastic um, beehive that I put the sapiens in. So this Hocking's Eye hive was transferred out of the plastic hive. You can see it's going nice and strong in its new home. But what do you want to do if a cyclone's coming and you don't want to leave your boxes exposed? Well, you've got to move them inside or move them at least to a sheltered position. But you can't obviously have the bees flying around, so what do you do? Well, you simply have got to plug up the hole and move them inside. Using something like this, that's termi mesh. They use this in the building industry. It's stainless steel to keep termites out. But you could use fly wire. You could use shade cloth. You could use anything of the sort. And what do you do to move them inside? Well, you do simply this. Let's see if I can do this uh, with the camera and thing. You just simply put it over the entrance, push it in until it grabs, like that. Ah, there we go. Hang on. There we go. See that? That's it. Sealed. I can now lift up that hive and take it inside. And it's okay to leave your hive sealed up for up to a week, if necessary. But generally it's only till the cyclone passes and you can put the hive back out again. And so you just put, seal it up, take it inside, and then do this when you're ready to let them go again. They'll come out again. As you can see, they all duck away inside when you first threaten them, but they'll be out again. So that's all you do. And you use fly wire, mesh. You can use paper towels if you don't pack it too tight. You don't seal the hole. The bees breathe through that hole. Many a case has been recorded of people sealing up the hole and the hive suffocates. They breathe through that. So that's why you use something like fly wire. So we've got that. Now, pests. It's a big thing this time of the year. Two main pests are thick at the moment. Small hive beetle and a thing called a cyphrid fly or a mimic fly. Now, small hive beetle you won't see, you just gotta rely on managing your hive throughout the year and having a strong hive this time of the year. But mimic flies look like wasps. So for instance, down, whoops, where did he go? I'm trying to get one, now he's flowing off. So they look like wasps, but they're not, they're flies. And the dead giveaway of this, of the mimic fly, that it's a fly, is it doesn't have two antennas sticking out like most insects. It has a Y antenna. So, it, so the antenna is joined at the base to the head, and it looks like a Y. It goes out and then splits into two. And that's how you can tell it's a mimic fly. Now, we had a minor disaster concerning that. If you've been following my series on the sapiens, and I do encourage you to do that, I started a hive of sapiens in this plastic hive, as you can see here. During the month, I suddenly had flies flying around it as it was developing. That's not a healthy sign. And then I saw something oozing out of the bottom of, the, of this uh, hive. When you see flies around a hive, or you see ooze coming out, you've got to take immediate action. And this is what I had to do on this hive. 
take immediate action. Oh, I'm stopping all the sapiens flying in and out here. Hang on a sec, I'll go to the side a bit. That's a bit better to let them in. Anyway, so what do you do in these sort of situations? Well, you've got to do what you have to do, and that is recover the hive. Now, small hive beetle, this got infected with small hive beetle and cifrid fly or mimic fly, and it was blowing. So I had to clean it out and get the hive restarted again. And as you can see there, the hive's back to normal. I've got workers going in and out. But how do you recover a hive? You recover a hive by connecting it back to a stronger hive, or in this case, it's mother hive. So on this hive here, to recover it, I reconnected it to the mother concrete hive, and you can see there, through a short hose. And that has re-established this hive. So, for this month, you have got to be on top of your pests. Get there, and if you see any flies around your hive, it means there's a problem, and you have to deal with it immediately. If you don't, you will lose your hive. It will generally happen to weak hives, and this was a weak hive due to the brood lift, but you can recover it if you need to. Is there anything else to cover? Oh, why not? Speaking of pest management, last end of last year, I did a uh, recovery of a hive infected with forehead flies, and you can look that up on the series too on the YouTube channel. And since we're talking about pests, did this hive recover? Well, this is the hive. And of course, if you look there, I hope you can see in there, utterly choppers full of bees. There's not much activity today, which is strange. I think it's the low humidity. The hive entrance is utterly choppers full of bees. This hive is totally recovered. So yes, you can recover your damaged hive, but you've got to get in there quick. Okay next month. I mentioned it in the video and to add to the video this is a, the type of fly we're looking at. I hopefully it won't scare him. These are naturally attracted to your native beehives and if you've got a large concentration of bees like I have you'll get a lot of these. If I've swatted a hundred of these in the last month it'll be a hundred less than I estimated because they're, they're just thick. That towel dabbing motion is a classic. You should also be able to see the Y antenna on them. They will infest a hive. As the plane comes over, I'll just let him go as we get the filming of him. You can see what he looks like. He is not a wasp, he is a fly. You can quite happily catch these if you can in your hand. But this little pest that's the thing you're looking for. If you see him, you've got to get him out. Swat him. They will lay eggs in cracks. Where's he gone? He's flying around now. They will lay eggs in cracks of the hives, in the joints. But no, normally the bees can defend against him. But this month they are thick. You keep on top of them.